The end of an era. CNN's Larry King says he is going to hang up his suspenders after 25 years of his primetime show. CBS News correspondent Jim Axelrod has the story. After roughly 50,000 interviews with virtually every world leader. Congratulations on 25 wonderful years. Newsmaker. Larry, you're being inappropriate. Some men may and celebrity. Me. You are so Look at this. We're adorable. Shady. Larry King broke some news uh, himself, I start the show announcing now, I he would end his quarter-century run you. this fall. 25 years ago, I sat across this table from New York Governor Mario Cuomo for the first broadcast ever of Larry King Live. And now, decades later, I talked to the guys here at CNN, and I told them I'd like to end Larry King Live. The 76-year-old King says he felt no pressure from CNN to leave. Oh, I want to do other things. I want to do other things. I'm do specials. We'll do many specials for CNN. Hi, Larry. CBS News was the first to speak to him just after his show. Yeah, bittersweet. It was my decision. I'm glad I made it. But it was hard to talk to the staff, and I know down the road I'm going to miss it. King says he wants to spend more time with his family. He's been married eight times to seven different women and nearly split with current wife, Sean Southwick. They've since reconciled. With a 53-year broadcasting career, he's known for his direct but non-confrontational style. He says he always tried to keep it simple. I never uh, presumed what my guests would say. I listened to answers, asked short questions, left my ego at the door, and I had a motto through my whole career, is that I never learned anything when I was talking. That's true to this day. King was recently entered into the Guinness Book of World Records for hosting the longest running show on the same network in the same time slot. As for his successor, you know, if it was up to me, I'd, I'd have Ryan Seacrest do it. Thanks. Whoever gets the job, they won't be easy suspenders to fill. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.